I'm Brian Howell with uh, Pro Video Coalition, and I'm here with Dan from uh, Black Magic, and we're looking at the uh, Black Magic. I mean, it's just it's too small. I can't even. It's just too cute, too small. It's the micro. It's. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. So this is our this is our micro cinema camera, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to we wanted to take our pocket cinema camera, which has done amazing for us. It's a great camera. People love to use it, and it was always designed to be a nice little handheld camera, almost like you didn't realize it was a cinema camera because it looked like just a small snap and point and click camera. And we've seen that used in so many different places. Some people use it as A cameras, some people use it as B cameras. It's their personal cameras. We've also seen it in places like drones, or we've seen them in the corners of cars where people are putting them into really tight, small places. It's a small camera. Yeah. But we realized there was a bunch of design decisions we could do to make that experience be better for people. For instance, when you put a pocket camera in a car, I've seen them up in the windshield where someone's looking around the back of the windshield to try to see that it's in focus and hit the record button. This camera is designed to be able to fit into these type of situations that are purpose built. So one of the th first things you notice is that if you're tucked into a corner, all my transport controls are right in the front here. So I can just go ahead and hit record in the corner, have my tally light come on right there and know that this thing is recording. But because it's so small, it can go into places like drones where it's very light. It can go up and go into the drone. One of the nice parts we've done here is we've got this nice expansion port here. What this expansion port allows you to do is be able to kind of we almost call it a very hackable camera, where I can go ahead and use something like a remote control for, for the airplanes and the drones, where I can have analog video coming out and being sent wirelessly down, adjusting my starting, my stopping of recording, adjusting my iris controls. So something that we can kind of hack into and create there for a multitude of different purposes. Now, the one thing you're going to notice, it's so small, this camera doesn't have a monitor on it at all. So this is something where you can do all of your transport controls and your menu systems to do all of your adjustments, but you're going to use that HDMI out to go to a monitor to be able to do all of your adjustments. Now, once you've done all those adjustments, it's kind of set it or forget it. Or, of course, you can add something like our new Video Assist product to have on there and have a small monitor. But the idea is very lightweight, very easy to use, very cost-effective at $995. But, like, it's a basically a pocket camera designed for this. Same 13 stops at dynamic range, um, same... ProRes recording that we've had on the pocket camera or the, the Cinema DNG RAW, same SD cards that we're recording to. So it's going to look and feel a lot like a pocket camera, but again, designed for this very specific and a multitude of uses where we want small cinema cameras. So one of the things with the pocket is like the little batteries that came with it, they didn't, they didn't last very long. Here you have a Canon battery, essentially. Uh, what's the length of time for a record? So what we've seen is, and there's some differences that will come based off of how much recording you're doing and if there's any processing. but basically hour, 15 minutes to an hour and a half of a recording time that you'll get on these. So a bit more life, and of course everyone has a bunch of these laying around, so a very affordable way of being able to power these as well. Okay, um, and it looks like it has a micro four thirds sensor, uh, not sensor, but a uh, mount, um, and it, that's an active mount, I take it? Yeah, so it's the same kind of micro four thirds that we see on the pocket camera, where if I'm going with the native micro four thirds, I have all the active controls there. Of course, micro four thirds is very adaptable, so I can go ahead and put other adapters on there if I want to use other lens mounts as well. They just lose some of that actual iris control or the like that would normally go through the micro four thirds. And this has a, the same sensor, so it's a little bit, it's a rolling sensor that's found in the pocket camera? Actually, we've been able to do something a little differently here. This is kind of a, we've been able to improve upon some of the electronics here. So this will actually go up to 60 frames per second where the pocket can't because of the electronics we've used there. So it, it, it's sort of the same sensor that we've been able to up, do a couple upgrades with with our own design. And of course the body being able to deal with that as well. So like, but different. So it's still 1080, 60 frames a second. Um, there's a, and the HDMI is 1080 out? Yeah, the HDMI is a full 1080 out. And again, you're able to see all of your controls, resolution, all the things you would normally see on the back of the pack pocket camera, that's all going to be going out your HDMI as well. Could you send out the HDMI cable to a, a recorder and have longer record times? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that, that's actually, we'll just pull really quickly over here. We've designed this new video assist product, which kind of goes along with these products. Now, these can go with DSLRs, these can go with these, these can go with our normal cameras. They can go on the back of ATEMs if you'd like. Because what we're seeing here is basically an upgraded HyperDeck shuttle. It's got the same SDI and HDMI ins and outs. We're now recording to the SD cards. It's recording 1080. So it's a full 1080 touchscreen, as well as being able to take Ultra HD and down convert to HD as well on here. So someone could just go ahead and tack one of these on here. They could go out to record to this, have longer record time. Well, it's still the same SD cards, but I could have the batteries on here. I could do interchangeable SD cards. I could do different recordings on here for a different, instead of ProRes, I could be doing RAW here and doing ProRes here. So it adds more functionality. The nice part is these are $500. So we can just stick these everywhere we want to have separate recording devices as well. Now with the monitor, do you have um, 
I mean, this this does raw and, and ProRes. This does raw and ProRes. This does not do raw. This is the raw. So this is basically a ProRes and DNX HD encoder only. And, and only 1080. And only 1080 recording. Again, it will take Ultra HD, but it will down convert that to HD both on the monitor as well as for recording. But for a little video assist product, that's a lot what people will be needing. All right, and then. Um, uh, exposure controls, focus controls. If you're going to use this to monitor, you have to be able to see like, what it's This has getting. a basic histogram on there as well as some VU meters, so it's not going to be the end all be all of every adjustment you're going to want to make, but it does have enough transport controls on there to be a nice assist product for you. And it's just, uh, it's um, so if you hit recording the camera, it'll start recording here, or? You actually do have to start the recording on here as well. Okay, so, okay. Uh, and is there any talk back? Not through, not through here at all. So this isn't designed to do any talk back or tally through this at all. Can we, uh, is it going to be, like this is a monitor, I see it's got a lot of gloss, but are we going to see like an EVF looper on it? Probably not. I don't think so, but don't really know for sure. Only 38 new products at this show, so oh, yeah. we keep working on developing things. Oh, wait, wait, thank you. It's Dan from Black Magic Design. I'm Brian Out, Pro Video Coalition. We're talking the recorder and we're talking about the micro. Thank you very much.